Hello everybody and welcome back to my vlog. So I've just been taking a nice stroll down the road, taking a look at the fields around here. Peter did tell me that he owned all the fields on this side. So uh, yeah, I think he's actually just drilled this one here. Yeah, you can see it has been drilled. You can just about see over the uh, hedge. But what I have to do is now go over to uh, Peter's farm to get today's job. He did give me half the morning off, which is very good of him. Uh, so yes, let's just have a run over there. It's not quite winter, there's still some leaves holding onto the trees, but we are almost there. The time of very cold weather is almost upon us. So I think that he has finished drilling all of his fields, I think that everything is completed, including uh, the fertilizer, because as far as I'm aware, his drill actually does apply fertilizer at the same time as putting the seed in, which is very nice. The one I did over there, though, um, obviously did not put fertilizer in, so I, I don't know if he's already fertilized that, he might have done, but let's get today's job. Morning, Dagwin. Can you head down to the store? I've got a trailer load of fertilizer to pick up. Take my pickup if you want, it'll be much easier than towing it with your tractor. Right, sounds easy enough, let's go and do that. So, where does he put his pickup? Same place as always, that's good. Okay. Right, so yeah, it's not too cold at the moment, it's still bearable. Um, working on the farm in the winter is not a very pleasurable experience. Can get very cold. But as long as we don't have too much snow and not too much wind, then it should be fine. Okay, so yeah, we're picking up a trailer load of fertilizer, which must have already been preloaded by the uh, dealership. It's quite a good place, really. They do sell seed and fertilizer and tractors and everything. It's almost like a country store for all your countryside needs or farming needs. Right, so I'll see you over there. Here we are. So this must have already been paid for, I'd imagine. We should just have to prove who we are and then collect it. Right, so where have they put it? Ah, there we go. Says it's all done. Must have been loaded with the skid steer. Uh, so let's get that backed up to there. I hope this is the right one anyway, because otherwise it would be very embarrassing if I go and attach to uh, somebody else's trailer and it turns out not to be the one which I should be attaching to. So actually, I will go and clarify this first. But yeah, I'm sure it is the correct one. Mr. Wood's fertilizer. Yeah, that's the right one just over there on the trailer. Good. It's good to know that I have clarified that. Uh, oh, nice tractor. Yes, I probably shouldn't just keep looking at all the tractors they have in for repair, or maybe it's just being kitted out with a new system for the sea drill. Who knows? Maybe a GPS system. Um, but yes, let's just get this attached onto there. There we go. And we can head off. That looks quite heavy. How many bags? Ten bags. I guess it is a triple axle trailer, so the trailer isn't going to complain. The pickup might do. Um, yes, anyway. It's all sorted. Let's go. Yeah, it's definitely quite heavy, but it's manageable. I think slow and steady is going to be the best approach for this. Don't want to be going too fast with such a heavy trailer. Uh, he did say that it would be easier with this, but I think what he meant by that is it would be faster with this over a tractor. Um, yes, a tractor would definitely have had more weight and, uh, and stability. Maybe not stability, but definitely weight and power. But actually, it's, it's pulling it fairly well. Especially considering there's 10 bags on there, which I, I still can hardly believe. But there we go. It is clearly his uh, delivery of fertilizer for the month. Right, so I'm going right here. So I would imagine the next thing he's going to want us to do is to uh, unload it somewhere. But we'll see. Okay, and here we are. I think if I just park it well, out of the way, maybe against this hedge over here. That would be a good place to put it for now. There we go. And it is delivered. Safe and sound. I'll go and tell Peter. Good work. You can leave them on the trailer for now. At least all but one. I do have a job for you. I require the area of the field which you started planting last week to be fertilised. Yep, certainly. I can use my Ford too. I'll get one of my workers to bring it across from my other farm, since it's in storage. In the meantime, maybe you could get your Ford started up and ready to go. 
Okay, right. Nice. So a bit more work for the Ford. And one of these bags is going to have to go into the uh, fertilizer spreader's hopper. Probably with the drop nose massive focusing just around the corner. This one here. Uh, probably put some pallet forks on it or something. So, yeah. Oh, for goodness sake. Oh, it's leaked oil everywhere. Right, after lying on the floor, unwillingly, I think I have discovered that it's dumped the whole of the engine oil out. I don't know how, though. The sump plug is still in. Yet, well, the oil certainly is not still in. Goodness me, this is why you try things before you buy them. They wouldn't let me test drive it or even start the engine. Now I know why. Although I did do all the drilling without an issue. I hope, unless it was leaking oil in his crop. Oh, better not tell Peter. Good old, good old. Ah, are you going to start the Ford up? Oh, crikey, Peter's here. I'm guessing by you saying, oh, crikey, Peter's here, you don't want me to be here. What's wrong? Oh, nothing. Except my Ford has been sick. What a graphic, lovely way of putting it. You've made quite a mess of my yard. Don't worry, I'll get it tidied up. After I've had a bit of a shouting session at the dealers. Well, that does look bad. Did you actually test drive this thing before you bought it? No, I didn't, and that was the problem. Although I still don't see how it would have made a difference. Now, oh, well, the fertilizer spreader's not here yet anyway. Take my pickup, see what you can sort out. Thank you, Peter. Very good of you. So, let's drop this off. Oh, so annoyed. Oh, yep. So, um, yeah, it looks like we're not using the Ford today. Which is really annoying. I, I kind of feel like I... Well, it could be a simple issue, I suppose, but I, I do feel a bit ripped off because, well, they wouldn't even let me start the engine, which to me is a bit strange. You wouldn't usually buy something without being able to even start the engine. I didn't think much of it at the time. I thought it was a bit weird, but I didn't think it was because they are potentially trying to cover up a fault. But then it seems to have... Uh, just let the whole oil go. It didn't seem to be dripping before. Anyway, if I can uh, get them to pick it up or something, somehow, winch it onto a back of a trailer, I don't know. They're going to have to fix it for free though, because I've only just bought it. It wouldn't really be fair to expect me to have to pay for it already. Anyway, we'll see what they say. One thing's for sure though, I'm really enjoying driving Peter's pickup. I seem to drive it more than he does. But yeah, it is a very nice pickup truck. It's very spacious. And yeah, it's got some really... It's got a very nice interior. Good in-car entertainment. Here we are. I hope they're going to be good about it, but there's always a chance they're going to be a bit funny. I think actually this will be the deciding factor as to how good their customer service is. Um, right, if they turn around and say, your problem, then, well, I'd be inclined not to ever come back here, except for when I'm picking up Peter's things. Uh, but if they say something like, uh, I don't know, we can, we'll have somebody over in an hour or something and get it fixed, then it's pretty good, especially if it's free. Back again? What can I help you with? That tractor that you sold me, it's going to dump the contents of his engine out on the ground. Ah, uh, you'll have to elaborate. The engine oil has come out of the engine all over the floor. I see. What were you doing with it at the time? Nothing. I've just come back to it after a few days of it standing there. I'll see what I can do. Can you wait a minute? Yes, I can. Thank you. In that case, I'll have a wander around the yard. And, uh, oh, that tractor's still here. A Ford? I wonder if it is for sale. It does seem like a very nice tractor. Hey Dave, do you want to by? People in the workshop sorting out the uh, sea drill. Uh, there's the sea drill on the back of the case quad track. Anyway, better hang close just in case they do come back in a minute. Not here yet. I'll keep waiting. No, it's been two minutes or three minutes and still nothing. Now it's been about, what, eight minutes? Now my legs ache. My legs are over here. Now I've sorted something out for you. We've got a replacement tractor, and we'll pick up your one later. Oh, that's very good of you. And will it be free to have it repaired? 
I can't really say at the moment. If it's a problem which we should have spotted before it was solved, then we'll cover it for you. If it's something which we've discovered and, and it was actually something that you did while using it, well, it'd be a different story. We would have to charge you for the repair work. Right, well, I, I do find it hard to believe that it would be something that I've done because all I've done is drill three quarters of a field and, and that's it. And I haven't been joyriding or, you know, handbrake turning or anything like that. Well, I'm sure we haven't. It's a tractor after all. So my replacement tractor, um, which one is it? This lovely Matthew Ferguson here? Uh, no. How long do you think it'll be until the other tractor arrives? Well, actually, it's going to be coming from some distance, so probably an hour or so. An hour or so? I need to get back to the farm. I've got some fertilising to do. Well, uh, not much I can do about that, unfortunately. Can I please just not borrow one of these tracks? Maybe the ones down there. The MB track. Could I borrow the MB track? Please. Uh, we don't tend to allow customers to use the tractors we have for sale. I'll have to chat with my manager. Playing the waiting game again. This is highly irregular, but I've spoken to my manager and he said on this occasion, because it could be our fault that your other tractor broke, we will allow you to use the MB track. Here's the key. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes. So uh, I need to get the uh, pickup truck back to Peter. Um, mm, that's going to be tough. I would take it now because he's going to need it probably. And then we're going to have to, uh, well, somehow get back down. I, mean, I might have to walk, but that is a very long way to walk. Hmm. Well, it, it would do me good, but I do need to get this fertilizing done. So, I don't know. I'll speak to Peter. Because he might be able to run me down here, possibly. Okay, so here we are back at the farm. Uh, oh, Peter seems to have... Oh, he's been waiting for me. Oh, good. Put this back over here, then. Yeah. So he's got the Massey Ferguson ready with a bag. Uh, oh, and the fertilizer spread is here, too. So I don't know where he is in the shed hmm I think it would be just easier if I quickly run over there it's quite a long way to go but I think if I keep running it'll be uh, well 15 minutes or so I don't want to mess him around he's probably busy here we are now that two-wheel drive New Holland it's not been delivered yet I think it's supposed to be delivered in the next few days. Actually, interesting. They could just bring it at the same time as them taking mine away. I wonder if they will do. Probably on that lorry, but yeah, it still hasn't been delivered. He's waiting for it. Okay, so here is the MB track. This is going to be great. Can you imagine doing fertilizer spreading with this? Well, you don't have to imagine it because you're going to see it for real in a second. It is very nice in here. Very nice interior. Oh, it moves. It, it moves very well. That's just a very, very smooth tractor. I do kind of regret not getting it, but I do love the Ford as well. I wish I could buy both. In theory, I could buy both. I do have the money for both. But I do need to keep saving for a piece of land, so... I don't know. And also, that the other problem is I do need to keep the machinery somewhere. Currently, I'm keeping the Ford in Peter's yard, and obviously it's made a mess. I don't know if he would approve of me bringing multiple pieces of machinery into his yard and filling it up because it is going to take up a substantial amount of space because his yard isn't very big anyway. Uh, unless I could keep it over at his other farm, which wouldn't be a bad idea considering there is so much space over there. And to me, this tractor feels more suited to road work, carting, rather than field work. Although it's perfectly capable of doing field work. And also, it's actually lower horsepower. It's a lower horsepower tractor, believe it or not, than the Ford. It can be quite hard to believe, but it is. Okay, so we finish off by going through these trees. Nice tunnel of, well, not quite a tunnel of trees, but trees on one side. I've just been through a tunnel of trees. And we are going to try it out with the fertilizer spreader. Now, it probably isn't a very good tractor for fertiliser spreading with when the crops have started to grow, you know, when they've germinated. But I think, for now, because there's absolutely no germination whatsoever, because they have only just gone in, um, it is actually going to be absolutely fine. 
So let's get it attached to the fertilizer spreader and we can do today's job. It's been a long time coming, that's for sure. Okay, so hopefully it does fit properly. Can't see any reason why it wouldn't fit. So right there, we need to put the PTO on. And yeah, the, the wires which I've just done. And there we go. Good. So let's get a bag loaded up into there. And hopefully they do turn up soon to take my Ford away. Because I need to get it repaired as quickly as possible. Well, look at it with its pool of oil underneath. It's kind of infuriating to see it like that. And now into the Matty Ferguson. He's already very kindly put that through there, ready to go. And oh, I should have lowered it. I should have lowered the uh, spreader. I will have to do that. And here we go. So it's probably going to take uh, three quarters of the bag. And there we go. Um, and we can probably put it back on the trailer. Because I don't actually know where he wants these. He might want to put these back in a shed at a different farm, possibly. A lot of his things do go back to the other farm. And there we go. And this tractor can go over here. Good. Now this is going to be a fairly easy job, I would imagine. Um, especially as he's done most of the field, I think. He's done everywhere which he had to do because the drill just automatically applied the fertiliser. Uh, actually, I suppose that does leave three quarters of the field. But then again, although this is a fairly small spreader, I don't think the working width would be too bad. Uh, I hope that I will eventually be able to work in other fields, it's just he's already done them. He's blitzed through them with his big machinery because he does have some pretty big stuff and I don't know exactly what he tows his big drill with, it's a big direct drill but it's not it's not small, It's uh, it's got tracks anyway because the other farm is huge but like I said it's completely managed by somebody else so he doesn't really get involved with it which is the reason why we mostly see smaller machinery okay so here we go let's get it fertilized before winter oh yes you can see where he's been, he's been here so that matches up nicely with his. In fact, it's a very similar working width. That is the working width of his drill. Goodness, it's huge. almost finished and after using it for this obviously it's not really cultivation work or anything I would say it's a very nice tractor uh, I think I do prefer the Ford for field work like I said but this definitely beats the Ford for road work uh, it's much more well it's much smoother and uh, I, I think it's faster yeah much faster driving this on the road so for karting absolutely great for karting slurry or trailers or anything like that but then, I think, yeah, for this sort of thing, I would prefer to use the Ford. So I don't know what to do for the best. I don't know if I should get this as well, or if I should just stick with the Ford. As long as its issue isn't too, well, too problematic. It, it, hopefully it isn't too bad. Right, okay. Just finishing off here. It's actually a really good fertilizer spread too. Such a good working width. And that piece down there is the piece that Peter did drilled that and he's managed to get that fertilized as well so actually I did do quite a large area with that seed drill, that small seed drill Peter's small seed drill and there we go finished 
So I'm going to head back and well, shut this gate. Also, it gets dark very quickly at this time. Autumn, pretty much winter. Okay, we are ready to go. Now, I really don't know if Peter is going to have any more work for us today. Uh, I kind of hope he doesn't, but he might do, possibly. And also, they need to come and pick up my four tracks. They might have been already. Um, I didn't need to be there or anything, so it doesn't really matter if they have been. What's that? Hang on. There is something. There is something coming down the track. What is that? It's my Ford tractor. Wow, it looks small when it's on there. So they have picked it up. Good timing. Very good timing. Sad though. Very sad. Uh, I would have liked it if it had lasted a bit longer than a day. Hopefully it's just some very simple fix, which I know through lack of service. So I can't part of that because there's a puddle of oil. Oh, um, yes, I don't want the fertilizers to get wet either. I think the forecast is for fine weather at the moment, so we should be okay leaving it here for tonight. Hopefully. Um, so yeah, let's go and speak to Peter. Sorry about your yard, Peter. Hmm, he is not going to be too pleased. Although it didn't seem too bad when I spoke to him before. He didn't seem too bothered. I have no more work for you today. How is it going with your Ford? Well, after a bit of persuading, I did manage to get the MB track as a replacement tractor. Temporarily, of course. They've just taken it. Um, they're going to repair it. Not necessarily for free, but hopefully. If they can find... Well, if, basically, if they can prove that it was nothing I did. Well, that sounds quite good, then. I've always found them to be a very reputable dealer, to be honest. Yeah, well, I'm hoping as well that they're going to be good and not you know, mess me around. Uh, I, I'm sure that it was just a genuine oversight. I, they probably couldn't even see it coming. It, it's probably just, I don't know, undone its sump plug. Although the sump plug seems fine. Anyway, I don't know. I have no idea. But it has emptied the contents of its engine. Well, come on in. Have some food. 